Right, let's go ahead and learn about a very important concept that you need to know, and that is variables. The way that I like to explain variables is by using the box analogy. So in programming, you can think a variable as a box, right? So imagine that this is a box, and now inside of this box, you can store literally anything that you want. For example, you could store number four inside of this box, right? Now, this box has the value of number four, and we have to give it a name. For example, we could have named this box, right? So the name, the name would be, for example, number, right? So when we say number, we get the value that's inside of the box, right? So you can store numbers, but you could also store letters, right? Sequence of characters, and you'll see this in a second. So for example, let's say that this uh, is a sequence of characters, so K, for example, and let me just take, for example, B from here, right? You put it inside and you can add more letters, right? But you'll see in a second how all of this works, right? So now here, so this box has some sequence of characters, right? And I also have to give it a name. So let's say that, for example, this contains um, a name, right, of, of, of a person. So here I could just say that this box name is Jamila, for example, right? Because it has the value inside of Jamila, right? So if I take this, you could also, uh, oops, you could also store an emoji. Um, uh, by the way, uh, just give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. But you could also store an emoji and literally you could store anything. I can take my phone, put it inside here, right it doesn't fit but you know this variable now holds my phone and you'll see um how to to represent things in the real world later on with python right by using classes so there we go so a a variable it's simply a box that you can store literally anything inside and as you saw with our example where we have name equals to input right so name was the name of the box, right? And then the input was whatever the user typed on the console was stored inside of the box. And then when we printed the name, it just took the contents inside and then it just gave it to us. That's why you saw on the console, the output of the name. But you'll see lots of examples throughout this course. But I feel like this is the easiest way that you're going to learn what variables are in programming. Let me go ahead and show you exactly how to use them. All right, so let's go ahead and delete the previous example in here. And to create a variable in Python, it's very straightforward. So here we have to give it a name. So any variable that we want to specify has to have a name. For example, in here, I can say name and then equals. And in here, I'm going to type single quotes on both sides. And this variable will have the value of Jamila. So this variable has the value of Jamila. Now, again, think of a variable as a box, right? So a box that has one and only one thing inside. And in our case, the box has the contents of Jamila. And we have named the box as name. We can also create a different variable right here. Let's say age. So this variable age right here equals two. And then now we can say 18. So let's say that Jamila, she's 18. And we have a second box named age that has the value of 18. So remember that I said with variables, we can store anything that we want. So in this case, you can see that we are storing a number. So 18, this is a number. And in here, so name 
is storing a sequence of characters. And in programming, a sequence of characters is called a string. So a string. So let me actually type this to you. So string like this, right? So this is what we represent as a sequence of characters. So this is Jamila. And then 18, instead of number, we say that this is an integer. And in fact, if I put my mouse in there, you can see that 18 and then column and then int. Int stands for integers and integers are whole numbers. Now let's create another variable. So here I'm going to say pi equals two and then three point one and then four. And now this number right here is different than this one, right? So this is a whole number and this is a decimal number right here. And if I put the mouse there, you can see that now it says 3.14 column and then float, right? So these are decimals and these, right? So you see that we had strings, we have uh, integers, we have floats. So these are data types. So they are called data types. And I said that if you have a variable, so if I say a variable and then equals, so inside of any given variable, you can store anything that you want. And that thing inside of your variable has a data type. So you're going to learn more about data types, but I just want to show you the basics of creating variables. So let me show you another data type. So for example, if I say cars equals to, and this time add square brackets on, so open square brackets and then close square brackets, right? And then here let's add single quotes and then type BMW. So this is one car comma, and then single quotes. And then here, let's say Mercedes. And finally, let's have one more car. And then this will be Range and then Rover, right? So you can see now this variable right here. So cars, right? So if I put the, cur the cursor on cars, so the data type now is a list. And we're going to cover more about lists, but basically lists allows you to store more than one value. And here we have BMW, Mercedes, Range Rover, and you can have as many values inside. So again, each variable has a data type. So if I put my mouse uh, on the name variable here, you can see that this name is a str, and str stands for string, h, this is int, pi, this is float, so floats are decimal numbers, and then cars, so this one here is a list. This is how you create variables with Python. And obviously, we can print these to the console. So type print, and then name, and then age. We can also print pi, and finally, let's print cars, just like that. And if we run the program, you can see that we have Jamila, 18, 3.14, and then the list of cars.